Okay, I'm about to go see the the movie Corsage. It's at the Ragtag Cinema. And uh, after I see it, I'm going to tell you about it. Yeah. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So for what it's worth, I am the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. All right. Yeah, so I saw Corsage there. It was at the Ragtag Cinema, and uh, it is a movie about the lady who is married to the man. And she is the Empress of Austria, and I think he's the Emperor of Germany, and they are married. But you get the idea that they were more in love when they were younger, and now they are kind of old and drifted apart. So <laughs> it's just kind of the way it happens, I guess, with these royals. <laughs> but this was at the in the late. 1800s is when this was all going on. And uh, so she's nearing 40 and she's worrying about her weight. So she stops eating. She just eats like slices of oranges and uh, and drinks broth. <laughs> and uh, she wears these corsets. The movie's all about corsets. And she has this extremely long curly hair. So... That's kind of important to her. So, they kind of got a weird relationship. I don't know. I saw the trailer for this a couple times. And, uh... They make a lot about this line. Uh... Lions don't lose sleep about the opinions of sheep. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. The movie is... Is done in a lot of different languages. So it's kind of like... Sometimes they say English things... And anytime someone's singing, it's in English. <laughs> like there's songs in the in the movie from, uh, you know, it's like a lady singing. It's like more modern sounding music, you know. But uh, it's it's done acoustically, that sort of thing. But when even whenever they have like live music going on, like there's this one scene where some guys playing a ukulele. And there's another scene where some lady's playing a harp. <laughs> so. <laughs> and they sing in, in the English. But most of the time there's, they're speaking German, I'm assuming. German and maybe Austrian. Is that its own language? <laughs> it would make sense. So this movie is based on historical figures. But this isn't exactly what, what went on. That sort of thing. But so they got this weird relationship where they like each of them have their own like boyfriends and girlfriends, mistresses and whatnot, that sort of thing. So <laughs> uh, uh, you know, and it's kind of like an agreement they have, but then the whole thing is like the public can't know about it because they got to be the happily married. Royal family sort of thing. It's, uh, it's an age as old as time. Man, me and friend wife, we've been uh, watching The Crown. So we're all caught up on The Crown. And they got a lot of that going on. That was another thing I noticed. She, Like this lady in uh, the Corsage movie, she would go to the mental institution and like try to be nice to the, to the people who were crazy. So... And then you know, that made me think of Princess Di, obviously. She's always going to hospitals and stuff. So I guess that's just what, like, princesses do. And queens. Stuff like that. Empresses, I guess. So. Yeah, but these two, you know. <laughs> they, uh, they have a couple kids. You know, they got a, a, an older boy who's going to be emperor one day. And then there's a girl, you know. And it's like the kids get on to her. Because she's like, she's like done with this. She's lived this life for 
decades and decades and she's like she's tired of living this way and you know not being allowed to talk at the dinner table whenever there's a big party and you know <laughs> just she's just too through with all this <laughs> you know there's some funny scenes and that sort of thing but uh so the movie it's kind of about is she going to be able to break out of this shell or is it going to drive her insane that's really what is going on with this movie <laughs> you know because she keeps trying to push out of it but she can't ever actually leave the the confines of her royalty that sort of thing so it was kind of interesting in that regard now as far as uh the filmmaking all the acting it was great even the kid actors you know well basically just the little girl she was she was good you know the I thought the the servants you know they were all kind of funny like you get to know the personalities of the girl servants because they're hanging out with the main character lady more but there's all these other servants that are just kind of standing in the background and then someone in the royal family or whatever will do something abs absurd and they just kind of just gotta walk over there and like fix it and walk back <laughs> it's just it's funny so <laughs> I guess it's like, it's literally their only job. <laughs> uh, to pick up after these fools. <laughs> so, but, yeah. So, I mean, it was a well-made movie. It was well-acted. I liked the music choices. It was, it was a little weird because the song seemed a little bit more modern. But uh, it worked good. It was like all acoustic based stuff, you know, you know, pianos and, and like, uh, acoustic stringed instruments, that sort of thing. So, but yeah, so, I mean, it's well made. Yeah. There were some funny parts. Um, it didn't really, um. like make give me any feels or anything like that you know it's just like okay they, these people are living their lives and i'm watching it <laughs> but you know it's kind of interesting it's it's not my kind of movie though I, you know i'll just say that this, this isn't my kind of movie but it was well made so yeah that's all i got to say about that one So those are my first thoughts about Corsage. I, I've thrown the, my thoughts and opinions up on the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's. But uh, yeah, so like, subscribe, comment, feed your cat. Right, Will? Yeah, cats like that sort of thing.